Are you well? It's Kruakon Keith here with another pickups video for August and no, July and August. Let's take a look! Hey, so I had a quiet couple of months there. I didn't get too much, so I decided I would just kind of. Uh, what's the word when you squish things together? Kababla yeah, Kababla bled the two months. So this is for July and August. Um, I got a few decent games. Um, didn't get anything standout or anything amazing that I know of. I mean, if I hold up something here and you're like, oh my god, that's like super rare or very hard to get, please tell me in the comments. But I got some interesting stuff. Um, most of this came through trading. I do a lot of buying and trading games. So I end up spending no money to get what I have here. Uh, it's a cool way of doing things. Most of my games collection I've got through trading and bargains. It's a it's a great big games collection, but it's also a collection of bargain bargains that I found over the years. Uh, some really cool stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Wii U because I I took in a couple of Wii U's to get some games um, uh, from the other videos. Traded them this that and the other, but I got an interesting controller for the Nintendo Wii that came with a Wii U that I got. So, isn't that cool? I'm not sure where it came from because I I have the 25th anniversary edition Nintendo Wii uh, that came with the uh, Mario Brothers in red. The console is red, but it's just red. It doesn't have any logos like this. The controller doesn't have any logos, so don't know where that came from. Um, I could Google it, but maybe you can tell me. And as well as that on the Wii U, I was in a car boot sale and I got myself a Lego Dimensions Wii U. Uh, tingy. Never really, I've had a few come in while I've been trading games and so on. I usually traded them back out for big Reiki games. I decided to keep this one and um, it's complete. I got it for very, very cheap as car boots usually are. I think I paid five euro for this, so that's a little bit more in dollars. Happy with that. Uh, I got one game on the PlayStation Vita. Farming Simulator 15, 16. Farming Simulator 16 was, I think like, like everyone else, you're probably surprised at how popular these farming simulator games are. I've never played one. I've looked at some demos. I don't see the appeal. I always remember that Simpsons sketch where Bart and Lisa wouldn't clean the garden. Homer said, or Marge said, they don't clean the garden. No, we want to play video games. And then it cuts to them playing the virtual reality gardening simulator. And it just seems to be the same type of thing. I don't get it. Oh, my chair is a little bit dusty. Do you like my Harry Potter troll in the back? I've got loads of Harry Potter stuff. Speaking of which, let's go. I got a lot in, on the, the, P, the PSP. There's a shop here in Ireland called Golden Discs, and they have a branch out in Dundrum. If you're nearby, it's worth dropping in. And for some reason, they have lots of PlayStation 2, PSP, and DS games all sealed. Very random titles. So I picked up a few interesting ones. I'll just quickly go through them Sonic Rivals 2, Toy Story 3. They're all sealed. Probably you won't open. Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. And look at the price. It was, it, was, it was 5 of these for 10 euro. Absolute bargain. Um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Games that I didn't have these in the PSP collection. And if you've been following the channel, you know I'm trying to get a complete Harry Potter video game collection. Uh, it's nearly 250 to 300 titles that I need to get. So I'm about a quarter of the way there. Iron Man 2, the video game. I imagine that shite. Transformers, the game. This is probably the best of the Transformers, the Transformers movie tie-ins. Uh, a lot of the, the, the kind of cyber war of, of Cybertron, they're pretty good. But the movie games are all shit. But that, I, I think that was the better one. Don't know what it's like on PSP. Lego Batman, of the video game. And I got a nice collection as well on uh, the PSP. All of the Harry Potter movies. UMDs. So the entire... Harry Potter movie collection. All sealed. Really happy to have them. They can go there. And a couple of Nintendo DS games from the same place. I got Tenchu A Dark Secret. Bust a Move DS. Absolute classic. Just so good. Played that so many times on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. Uh, Cake Mania 2, Jill's Next Adventure. Can't wait to play that soon. Fucking amazing. And what's this one? Contact. No, it's not contact. Is it contact? Contact. Contact? Dunno. 
8-bit looking stuff game. Yeah. Let me know if any of those are any good. Especially the cake one. There's so much shite on the DS, wasn't there? Like the, Nintendo just have so much shite on their games. I mean, where I work, there's a couple of charity shops and I always pop my head in and you never know what you'll find. Surprised to see three, three big box looking old school 90s games. Turned out they were Amiga sports games. Uh, so I had to get them all. Three of them, they're all one euro each. Championship Manager 93, complete in box. The discs look amazing. Uh, manual looks great. Every, all, all, you know, happy, happy to see. You don't see them out in the wild very often. On the ball, the league edition. I had this as well back in the day. One euro. This was complete. This came on a ton of discs. Yeah, came on five discs. And look at that for a manual. You don't see that very often these days. A lot of reading in there. I used to love um, getting the manuals for flight sims. I used to read them page to, from page, you know, from cover to cover. And then, so crazy. And club football, the manager, classic Roy Evans on the front there, Liverpool manager from the early 90s. But when I opened it, my, my, I got a cover disc, another cover disc from Amiga Action, and interestingly, stunt car racer, which I do not have, but you know, I want to have it complete in the box. There you go, three Amiga games. Nice to add some Amiga games to the collection. Two Nintendo Wii games. Yeah, so I got two Wii games in that same place in Gundrum, the Golden Discs. Kawasaki Jet Ski and Mid Makers Super Kart GP. Yeah. They are games. They are games. Uh, and when I was out on doing the car boot day, I went into a pound shop called Town World or something. It's a popular franchise in Ireland. I went to get a bottle of water or something. Just walked past a boot, a boot, a bin. Noticed familiar Xbox looking green, and there, lo and behold, sealed original Xbox games. Only these two, to oh, ah, fail, fail. Only these, these two titles, uh, a lot of copies of them. And I, you know, when you see something like that in the wild, I just, I bought two, it's just so fresh. I'd like to open it right now and just go, ah, the smell of newness. And some PlayStation 2 games. Sonic Riders. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. These are all sealed as well. Off in that shop. That was in the pound shop. PlayStation 2, Spider-Man 2. Played that back in the day. Really good game. It was just perfect condition, so I decided I couldn't leave it behind. Same with Metal Gear Solid 2. Perfect condition. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Back in that shop again. Like, Two Simpsons games sealed. I'll hang on to them. Guys, have a spare. And free running. I heard something about that. Probably that it was shite. But not sure. Who's it? By Rebellion. Rebellion makes some good games. They make that an interesting game that I cannot think of right now that you probably know. Isn't it interesting? Yes, it is. I got one PS3 game in that same shop. It is Kung Fu Rider. On a typical day, the office means being chased by gangsters in bad suits. There's only one thing for it to grab the nearest thing on wheels and slide, swerve, and roundhouse kick your way to safety. Sounds sounds actually very interesting. I, I probably will check it out. So, onto my last system. It is the Xbox 360. I got some great titles here. Um, I bought a, a guy selling an Xbox with a 50, 50 games. Loads of guitar controllers, all this kind of stuff, and he was asking for 100 euros. So I was like, "Oh my god, here, just take my money," um, and a lot of the titles straight into my collection. I'll show, I'll show you them here. This one I picked up in the Dundrum shop, Dead Island Escape, Dead Island. I don't like it because I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it because I don't like it. And Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance again. Look, look at that, two euro, two euro seal, brand new. And Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, nice to have. 
Here's a game I hear is becoming hard to find out in the wild, near by Squaresoft. Looks fan Final Fantasy-ish, but I heard it's really good. Um, yeah, it's meant to be hard to track down these days. Child of Eden. That's made by the guy that did Rez, as far as I know. Yeah, Rez and Loom Mines. Tetsuya Mizuguchi. Try saying that when you've had a few whiskeys. Classic game, Rayman Orange Origins on Xbox 360. I played a little bit of this. It's just beautiful. It's a very old school vibe, but it looks, it's just gorgeous. It's like a work of art. A work of art, I told ya. I couldn't believe that. Beautiful Katamari. I'd say that'll be uh, one to, to keep Hold on to it, I'll be sought after. Play the original on the PlayStation 2, we just swear it becomes a ball of shite, really. I haven't heard too much about this, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom, but it just it has a look, it reminded me just a little bit of Shadow of the Colossus, the look of it. I know it's cutesy and all that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, I decided to hang on to that. That's gone nowhere. Darksiders 2, I probably have 5,000 million copies of it already, but there it is. Here's a game I didn't have that is, is like a Euro or a dirt cheap, Brutal Legend. I just remember the advertising with Jack Black on the TV and I thought, nah, it's not for me. It, it just irritated me looking at it. Jack, Jack Black annoys me sometimes, but I like him, but I hate him, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I got a few people saying I should do a Let's Play of this, so I probably will sometime in the future. Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition, got to have. Command and Conquer Red Alert 3, yeah. Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4, again. I'm actually playing through this on the PC at the moment. Um, just on my own time, not doing a Let's Play, just enjoying it. It's a really fun game. Ayo, hey, Burnout Paradise and Trivial Pursuit. Uh, myself and Rachel play Trivial Pursuit a lot. We really like the game, so we might have a go on the Xbox 360 and see if it's any good. Maybe we'll do a Let's Play of that as well, huh? Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. I expect that to be um, rare, sought after. Not rare, people hate to say rare, but it, you know, I don't care. Sought after, worth money. Because it's only out on Xbox 360 and it's becoming quite hard to find out in the wild. Here's another one that a lot of people like. Death Smiles, the Deluxe Edition. Is there a regular edition? I don't know, because I was checking on the internet when I found it. and Yeah, looks good. Um, if you're into that kind of shite. Yeah. I'm not. Look shy, actually. But, you know, a lot of people that are into the manga, anime stuff really like that game. So here. I already have this. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Um, seen it. I think I have this already. Really love the Seen It games. Uh, when I first got the Xbox 360 and I got that pack with the, the buzzers, God, it was just great fun. I love all the, but the thing is, I, I love movies and I love answering questions about movies, but if you don't have people that aren't into it, it can be quite problematic because they'll say things like, I don't want to play, and I'll say, but I want to play, and then there's a fight, and then the ambulance comes, and it's embarrassing. So that's my collection, I think I got about, that, that's my pickups for July and August, about 55 titles. Hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.